In this video, I want to share with you my experience with slow website page loading, which happened to me and how I troubleshoot it and found the root cause of the problem. In fact, when working on my computer, I noticed that web pages were loading very slowly, no matter what the website was. For example, if I type yahoo.com, you can notice that the browser is struggling to load the yahoo.com page. The first time I suspected my internet connection could have some issues. So I first did the basic tests. I did a ping on the IP address 888. And the result is pretty correct. A few milliseconds. So my next move was to ping the google.com server instead of pinging the IP address. So ping google. Com. And here you can notice the delay before the answer came back. The first thing that came to my mind was that it could be a DNS problem. Because when pinging google.com, my computer first needs to translate the name to an IP address before it can ping it. So the question was, what's happening with the DNS server? To answer this question, I issued the NS lookup command, nslookup google.com, and the result shows that the DNS server who answered the request was 192.168.0.10 But this is not my DNS server. I configured my Wi-Fi network interface to use the following two DNS servers 111 and Google 888 DNS servers as shown by the ipconfig slash all command Here it is. I'm using these two DNS servers so what is this DNS server doing here? So if I scroll up, I can see the IP address and this is a DHCP server that assigned this IP address to the VMware Virtual Ethernet Adapter. And this is a virtual Ethernet adapter created by VMware. This IP address is the IP of a Windows Server Virtual Machine I set up and configured with the DHCP service. So basically, this server here, this virtual machine, assigned this IP address to my laptop and configured it to use the DNS server of this VM. So basically, my computer is requesting a name resolution to the virtual machine, and this one can't answer the query. So then my computer will try the following available DNS servers, which are 111 and 888. So the culprit was found. If you have a similar issue, look at the DNS configuration before trying other fixes. I hope this video will help you. Let me know what you think in the comments.